hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is christina for those of you who aren't new here and for all of my returning subbies welcome back so today i'm going to be reviewing and doing a little demo with the new drunk elephant skincare and hair care line so first up is the sweet pity cream deodorant or deodorant cream and it's exactly what the name is it kind of looks like a lotion and it actually feels like a lotion going on this deodorant is actually very nice it smells like almonds but it's not something that you want to use on a day that you are sweating a lot or perspiring a lot if you have very sweaty armpits and you know tend to get really musky or musty very fast you might want to skip out on this deodorant but other than that it's a nice little deodorant nothing too special about it but it's cool and as always i'll make sure to put some information on the screen so you guys can go ahead and check those out next up we have the body cleanser so this body cleanser is very creamy um the consistency it doesn't lather a lot it does not dry the skin out it actually leaves the skin very nice and soft but it cleans the body really well so it's a really nice cleanser i actually really like it it's very mild so like i said it's not going to dry your skin out next up we have the lotion so the lotion is very thick in consistency but when you blend it in your skin it's very very lightweight it absorbs into the skin really well if you have extremely dry skin and you need something that's going to be nice and thicker this might not be the lotion for you because it's so lightweight this is something that I can see myself using in the summer months when my skin is not so dry. But once the winter months roll around, I'd have to use something more thick and creamy. The lotion, the body wash, and the deodorant, they all smell like almonds. But it's not a strong almondy smell. It's very mild. Now we'll move on to the hair care portion. I know you guys are probably... Curious about this part to see how well this works on ethnic hair. So first we're going to start with the shampoo. So the shampoo is supposed to be sulfate free. It's supposed to be for all hair types. So straight, wavy, curly, and coily, along with all hair texture, fine, medium, and thick. Um, some hair concern that it says for dryness, split ends, breakage, damage, and it says it is a lightweight liquid. That I will say that is super, super lightweight. It actually took quite a bit before it started to lather. I was uh, very nervous at first. I was thinking, oh goodness, this thing is not going to lather. It's not going to wash my hair. But to my surprise, it actually did a pretty good job at cleansing my hair without making my hair feel really dry. Let me tell you guys, the slip on this shampoo is insane. It has a slip of a conditioner. I was blown away. I was so shocked. I could actually detangle my hair with the shampoo if I wanted to. That's how much slip the shampoo had. Now, it doesn't have the scent like the body care line. So if you're not into the almond scent or if you didn't really like the scent from the body care line, then you won't have that problem because the hair care line doesn't really have a smell to me. So that's one good thing because a lot of times when uh, hair care has very strong fragrance scents, it tends to give me headaches. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Also, if you have thick hair like me, you're going to use a lot of this shampoo to wash your hair. A little bit does not go a long way. I noticed I had to use quite a bit to really get all in my hair, especially because it doesn't have a lot of lather. It did lather eventually, but it took me washing my hair, I think, once or twice before it actually started to lather. So you're going to be using a lot of shampoo if you have thick hair.
Okay, guys, so now on to the conditioner. So the conditioner coming out was, it's a thicker, but it's actually not like super, super thick. I thought it was going to be like a heavier on my hair, but it actually says that the formulation is a lightweight liquid and it's supposed to be for straight, wavy, curly and coily hair, as well as a fine, medium and thick textures. And one of the hair, hair concern is dryness. Now, I had to use quite a bit of the conditioner as well, which I already know. I usually have to use a lot of product on my hair. The conditioner was okay. I wasn't like super over, you know, excited about the conditioner. It didn't do a lot for my hair when it comes to moisture. It did moisturize it, but I did realize that the slip on the conditioner was not the best compared to the shampoo. I would have actually preferred the reverse, having the sh the slip. Oh my goodness, not the ship. Having the slip from the shampoo be the slip from the conditioner rather than having the shampoo have all that slip and the conditioner doesn't have much slip. It wasn't the easiest to detangle my hair. I actually even left the sh uh, conditioner on, sorry, for... 15 minutes hoping that it would do more as far as detangling and moisture goes, but it didn't. So the sh conditioner is uh, okay for me. It's not something that I would see myself going to purchase because this I did receive free and gratis. So I didn't have to purchase it with my own money. So now for the Tangle Spray. This actually didn't do anything for me to be completely honest. I don't really see myself using it. I may try to use it on my hair again if I'm going to straighten my hair just for maybe like heat protectant because that's one of the benefits I guess of this. But for detangling my hair, it didn't really do anything. It wasn't, it was useless. So I really do hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're thinking about purchasing these products, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.